ain't no breaks yet. Roxanne, Roxanne All she wanna do is party all night God damn, Roxanne Sorry guys, I haven't recorded in a while. Honestly, it's been that kind of week, month, weeks. <laughs> the anime I just finished was called Ball X Love. And honestly, I don't have, I have a little bit of a complaint. Like, I'm not really gonna be that guy saying that, oh, it's a masterpiece. It's, it's 10 out of 10 IGN. Hey guys, Future Caleb here. So, I just kind of, you know, started editing the video and I started realizing that literally my rant kind of is not really relevant to the overall show because honestly, like I tell you before, I have a tendency of kind of rambling going off the rails. So, I'm just gonna read off this little Rookopedia ad so you can kind of get a little bit more context about what the show is about so that, hey, you guys can check it out for yourself. There's a car passing by. All right, it's gone. So, I'm gonna give you a little bit more con Really? <laughs> Damn, these cops are active today. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a little bit more context about the show. So I'm gonna read off this Wikipedia ad and hopefully it kind of gives you a little bit more of an assessment about what the show's about. Because honestly, what I'm talking about is kind of like not really correlated about what the show is about. Oh my God, if you pass by one more time. You know what? I'm just gonna start reading it. Yeah, he's terrified of human content and just wants to live a quiet life. We all want to live quiet lives. I feel you, bro. So it says too bad he doesn't have the choice in the matter when nine Valkyrie sisters come barging into his home, which honestly, in this day in society in 2020 or 2019 you are not allowed to do that shit but okay plot they have tasked him with raising their level to fight off the monsters threatening humanity how would he do that exactly by getting intimate of course and that's where it comes straight to the harriman plot of most animes or ichi romance anime. so Okay, I guess this is kind of a little bit of a description of it. I didn't write this. I literally just read it off for like some type of ad because honestly, I don't really like writing things down. So I'm just going to let, you know, President Caleb just kind of give you, uh, I don't know, just kind of talk all over the place and just do whatever Caleb does. So, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Like, holy shit. Like, it's not bad, but then it's still not good. This main protagonist guy who's a complete and utter shut-in who has Kasame teeth in or... Fire Force teeth? Like, well, the main protagonist, they, I don't know. This guy has like Shark Boy teeth, and then he looks like Kasame's son from fucking Naruto. Right off the bat, slapped with seven other girls living with him, and then the guy's just okay with it. They didn't even act. The girl just kind of this, I don't know, he saves the girl, and then the girl was like, hey, you know what? Since you saved me, like, can me and my, and my seven other sisters come and invade your privacy and fucking live in your house, get free of charge, free of rent, only because you're supposed to be our lover? Nani? What the fuck? <laughs> Do you understand what I mean? It, it's it's just kind of off. I don't have a problem with that. Like again, because honestly, I do love my action romance ichi animes, but it just didn't seem right to me. It just seemed like you were just kind of just slapping everything together. I guess if I had to say, like from like that standpoint of watching the show, I didn't really enjoy that part as much, you know, with the whole estate. Let me stop talking about that, because like honestly, I think it's just because I live on my own with like a few of my friends, and then like us living on our own, I got rent to pay every month. And then this guy, I don't see a single bill in his hand. And then these girls are just, you know, just randomly having money to go and buy groceries and shit for the dude. And then it's just like, you know, it's just unrealistic to me. Cause honestly, I guess when you're like an apartment or homeowner, you just kind of, you know, have a sense of like, how are you paying for that? I, I'm not, okay, I'm not a cheap ass. I'm not a cheap dude. But then like when I see things like this happen, I know that if I was in, like, if it was like my life in real life, like a real life situation, I low key be looking at the bill and looking at the cents and shit before I buy something. Cause hey, I'm not gonna lie, your boy kind of goes off of the dollar menu on, on McDonald's, but most people be like, ah, just get whatever you want. <laughs> I can't have friends like them. But aside from that, the main protagonist of the show was kind of showcased as like, usually, I don't know why they always have to dub us nerds or weirdos or like, you know, in, like anti social guys as freaking weirdos who can't talk to girls and I uh, yes 
yes, we're cherry boys, yes, we're virgins and shit like that, but then overall, you don't have to go and brand us as, like, a guy who doesn't have balls, because honestly, we still have realism, like, we're still real dudes, like, at the end of the day, like, you know, if we know that this is an anime or this is, like, oh, a test or some shit, we're really perceptive. I know that you wanted to go and, like, uh, give the guy a realistic weeb character of, like, him just being a and not knowing what to do with the but then you don't have to go and brand this guy as an older, like, a, like just a complete and other freaking weirdo. Something that I really, really did enjoy in the show were some of the side characters. There was this one guy in like the first episode where like, you know, that uh, you see the ominous freaking protagonist come and then just pull up. And you just see this, this dude literally freaking hop out the window or like jump out the window every single 2.5 seconds of his screen time and honestly that level of comedy i think is really funny some people don't think that's funny i think that's fucking hilarious that that was one thing that was pretty good at the show that they know how to show really good comedic aspects of the show but is this the type of show that you should watch in front of your parents a hundred percent do not do it because you will get fucking slapped or you will get in my household back in the days you'll get the belt they'll think that you're watching cartoon porn because they don't clearly know what hentai is so yeah it's not safe to watch next to your parents, just a friendly warning to all you other weebs out there. I'm probably gonna get copyrighted for this, but here we go. You could kind of hook me into a show if you have a really good opening scene. Honestly, what really makes me go towards a show is like when you have something like really dope in the opening to kind of hook me in. The, what I like about the show is that you can't see a progression between the main protagonist and that little blonde chick who is supposedly is, is the, I guess the second main protagonist is character. Just like a show with a lot of fan service and a lot of like, you know, I guess action moments and a lot of the main character kind of being to the side, but then at moments it's kind of gross balls randomly. This is definitely your type of show. If you've seen every single anime and you have anything else to watch, should you watch this anime? Yeah, like it's it's not bad, but at the same time, it's not good. You've seen a, a show called To Love Rue. It kind of had a To Love Rue feel, but then clearly the protagonist in To Love Rue was supposed to have a harem and stuff like that and was supposed to be weak and supposed to not have any balls but then this character actually has a, a power like a tree or a buck or something like that we kind of got little glimpses of it like his regenerative regenerative reg, regenerative rege his healing powers like we saw his healing powers of him you know kind of get saved after like he got like something injected into his body which was kind of cool but then after that then it showed a case of him like kind of getting this badass freaking like unlock Korra mode where he has a freaking cape and shit and it looks pretty cool but then we didn't get a lot of like his true potential of his powers and i was like oh come on stop doing that do i hate the show no do i love it Eh. But, bollocks love, this is only just my opinion on the show, so go on any anime website and just go check it out, and then honestly, after you watch all 12 episodes, comment on, on the bottom of my video and let me know what you think about it. I don't necessarily hate it, but hey, you know what? You guys might like it. So, definitely write a comment down below on like what you guys think about the show, and then let me know your kind of opinion on the matter, because honestly, I would actually like to know. So, I guess that's it. I just want to kind of make a little video just so I can kind of, you know, post something because I haven't really posted in a while and I was kind of just doing a lot of... <laughs> yes, <laughs> I was doing a lot of that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching again. And hey, guys, leave a like on, on the video if you guys enjoyed it. And also turn on post notifications if you guys haven't did that. And also subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you guys so much for watching again. And... I guess I'll have to see you guys in the next one.